in the last episode. Because all you need to do is sit down and shoot it in the head. Oh. Oh. Or run away. Just like this. Whoa, 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 what is going on? Hi guys, and welcome to Yoni Place Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. Wolf, factory cleared. Returning to starting positions. Out. They say that every time I enter this zone. Because uh, that quest has, I think, bugged somehow. Hey, Martwan. It's great to see you alive and even had time to stop by. Come inside. There's something interesting coming up that I want to talk to you about. Oh, really? Don't worry. I'm gonna go to the trader so I can buy more ammo. So I can just use all of my ammo if I want. It's perfectly fine. Oh! What? <sighs> That looks like a fair fight. Now some may say, Yoni, didn't you just keybind those? And I will say... While that may be true, I'm now used to opening the inventory. So that's what I'm going to do. I had a list of things that I figured I could talk about, or that I should talk about. Not like a list of sensible things, mind you, it was more like when I... Where am I going anyway? Where am I? Oh, I came from... Oh? What? I'm going to the bar. Um, shouldn't I talk to the trader? Wasn't that the whole point? What am I doing? What am I- what? Where did I- I don't know. <laughs> I thought that the, it was the trader who talked to us. I think it was. So I think I just- I just follow the road, man. What do you mean, think about things and have a plan and whatnot? I was just walking. Uh, anyway, last night, or more like this morning, I was going to sleep and instead I was just lying awake, thinking about things. Uh, more like being not really awake. And I had this list of things that I thought that I should talk about in the video and it had like a couple of sensible things on it like uh, the fact that I didn't look at the minimap inside the, the lab and that uh, I record obviously more than one episode at a time the reason the episodes are so short is actually that my computer gets really uh, editing more than 25 minutes basically makes it kind of sad uh, there's like a constant risk that it just stops and crashes um, otherwise I would rather have 30 minutes episodes but anyway those were sensible but when I looked at the list because I wrote it down when I looked at the list this morning uh, I I was b being in that state of mind. It's more like you're high or something because it's some of that stuff is just not interesting and made no sense some of it. I I didn't even understand what I'd written. Um I had a post that said guns and while guns is a important part of this game I have no idea why or what I intended for the topic of guns no idea
Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Hey, Mark. Get your ass over here. We need to talk. Um, filling in for a wolf since we have to When the wolf leave and why? Close to the fire, so we should like find a cool place to hide. Up here is more sense. Wow, that was just not the plan. This is not what we agreed on. Okay. Sure. Sure. Fifteen shots. Thirteen shots left. Ten shots left. Yeah. If you're still alive, on me. Haha. <laughs> get over here. We need to talk. If you're still alive, yeah. I am fine. I killed lots of them. I was like the most useful guy out there. Do you see me? I own those guys. This poor guy, however. A lot of you guys died. How sad. Well, you're the ones who didn't stick with the plan. Not even a little bit, so... Now you're hiding out and looking all serious and shit. Where are you? There you are. Hi. Yep, something like that. We saved the young ones, marked one. Yeah, I don't know. If I saved... I mean, three people died still. I wouldn't call that saving. Anyway, time to sell off all the guns. I don't know what to do about this gun. It's a cool gun, but I, I, I just, I don't know. I've never actually used a grenade launcher on this. I, uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't know how to. <laughs> this may not be the place to try. We are leaving in any case. Bodies seem to stay around for a long time, because all the bandits I killed before are also lying around over there. But um, this is going to be a long and boring journey, so I will see you when I get there. Sparrow, is that you? Get out of here, Stark. Get out of here, Stark. This is Viking here, and Shark. Get out of here, Stalker. Viking and sharp. Oh, Sparrow, there you are. Is that you? No, this is someone else. Get out yeah, of here, combat. stalker. Where is my friend? Get out of here, Where's stalker. Sparrow? Warrant officer. Get out of here, stalker. But shut up. <coughs> God, I can't help it. It's like this impulse. I just have to say it. Shut up. Oh. А тут из-за дерева выходит пара сталкеров. Where's Sparrow, you guys? Ну, ты разорался? А он Where is he? Ой, пацаны, he was always here. Walking with me. Looking cool in his little gas mask. Where did he go? Sparrow. Oh, not Sparrow. 
You're right, bro. Sparrow. That's a nice laugh. Sparrow. I said, come in. Don't stand there. You can't go there. I've always got sure, something no interesting for people right. like you. Oh, My information yeah. might what well be of use to you, stalker. <laughs> you can't bomb the zone. Not only will the radiation, sp radiation spread over the world, half of Europe will be flattened. Someone has gone totally mad lately. I heard they're killing normal stalkers for no reason at all. Come here. I've Many always got something nature. interesting so for people here. like you. What's up? Hello, so, so smart oh, the situation <laughs> is becoming clearer. As I expected, this brain sculpture is man-made. It's a Kamenov experimental emitter, and its components were made exactly in X-18. These documents refer to Lab X-16, where they sent some components. According to this, X-16 is located so. in the yeah, production so complex so. area by Lake Yenta. The scientists yeah. have set up a mobile lab around there, so maybe they can help. It ain't simple. You need to get <laughs> to the all. scientists and find out where X-16 is, so you can get the missing documents. Do you respect so. me? When is all this going to end? The summer um, rains. Mm. Good job. Mm. So some work here. First aid and gravy. If so, uh, I won't just take you. Damn it! If only someone helped. My information might well be of use to you. Damn. Damn. I said come in. Don't stand there. Why, good morning. It is 6.24 a.m. and I slept two hours uh, and that was apparently all I was going to sleep tonight so I thought to myself if I can't sleep then of course um, what one does is one place stalker. Exactly. If you hear that sound in the background, that is my cat trying to escape my room and to wake up my room, which I am trying to avoid. I actually had this this fabulous thought, this fabulous example of of something. Okay, I'm going to tell you about my chair. First, you're gonna look at this rifle right here. This one. See what it says here? High reliability. You can't go there. Okay. I had this office chair before. That I used all the time because it was, you know, the chair to my computer. And I. The cat is escaping. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Uh, my chair. And it's served me well for many years. But then it broke. Well, it started breaking apart in, in segments. First, the back started getting really weird. 
Uh, you know how there's like this arm that goes out from the seat and then the here, back stalker. is attached to it? Get well, out of here, stalker. apparently I lean very specifically on one spot on the back, so it started, it started uh, Get out of here, stalker. getting loose from that arm. So it made lots of noise and it got all wobbly and shit. Um, but that isn't what made me trash the, the chair and get a new one. Um, and it also started making lots of noise for all other in all other parts, uh, and it it got all sort of torn up and stuff. But what actually made me switch after all this time wasn't that it was uncomfortable or dirty or old or any of these things. It was the fact that uh, the seat broke in a very funny way. You see, this was one of those chairs that you can adjust the how much the seat leans, right? And I had it set to being basically parallel to the ground, it was just flat. Well, suddenly, at completely random moments, for no reason at all, I could have been sitting on the chair for 10 minutes or for 3 hours, the seat would suddenly just fold. The front would go down, the back would go up, um, very far. Just, it would just let go, like it just went, fuck everything, and, and I fell out of it. And this could happen just at any time, any time at all. Uh, and and you know if if you're sitting at if you're sitting at your computer doing something that requires a lot of attention, like say you're playing the bridge in Left 4 Dead 2, and not shooting the hordes of zombies, the endless hordes Move of zombies coming towards you. Some stalker is coming right at us. What do we do? Don't you know what to do with witnesses? Finish him. Make no fuss. Roger, on it. Witnesses. Um, like endless hordes of zombies coming towards you and you're trying to... You're trying to hit that smoker that you can see. Smokers are like these special zombies that grab you from miles away and hold you stuck. You see that so you see that smoker on on the roof of the bridge, just really far away, and you know that if he grabs you, then this is over. This is literally over. You have you have one shot, and it all in your hands, um, and then suddenly your chair falls out from under you, from under you, and and what this causes is not only the death of you and your entire team, it also causes you to swear. Like, like your life depended on saying as many bad words as you can possibly come up with. So, the reason I switched my chair for a new expensive chair is not... It was nothing else but that same reason as why I wanted to spend 48,000 rubles on one gun. Reliability. Clever, huh? That was a really clever story to fill out our path out, out here, where we will be shot. We will be shot by these 50 people sitting in a camp right in front of us. And this street, magically, it's like it's one street straight ahead. It's the sniper heaven. Sniper heaven. Um, hmm. So, what type of um, cover do we want? Do we want a giant tree or pipes? I'm gonna go with the right side here. I'm gonna go with the pipes. Right here, just so they can shoot me through these bloody. Actually, there's like a slight possibility that I can. Oh, hey! Sneak closer. Uh, 
And we'll find out if there's more than four. Look at him. Look at him. Um, can I get through here? Yes, I can. All right, all right, all right. It's, it's, dude. Dude, this is exactly as. Um, Houston, we have a a, a slight issue, actually, because I I I can't go that way or or that way. Mr. Stalker? Mr. Stalker. Stalker. I can't speak. I can't talk. Mr. Stalker. Dear Mr. Stalker, how did you get in here if you can't walk this way and you can't walk that way? Um, there we go. Jumping in front of our enemy. Brilliant idea. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, that too. You know, I I could swear that I actually... Oh well, there he went. I, I still can't move. Excuse me, can I just... Excuse me. No? Oh, there we are. Okay, I'm out. Thanks, guys, for shooting at me. So I can get these. I can see my hit area and it's not where I'm aiming. Come on. Gotcha. No? No, didn't? Or is it that guy shooting? No, there's there's three left. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to go back and buy more ammo once I've done this. I thought that I bought lots of ammo, but apparently not. I don't know who's shooting at me. I can't see any shots. Someone is shooting into a wall. Straight in front of them, trying to hit me. Isn't that impressive? It's it's fabulous, is what it is. There we go. That is that is a that is lots of anomalies, is that are you upset now? Super upset. Like, what the fuck? Well, you shouldn't have shot at me. See, all your friends are dead. I know you're in there. Well, I want you, but I walk away. Cause I need you, like a bullet.